The Mercedes GLK is one of the younger model names in the Mercedes lineup, but it's quickly become the second best selling model in Canada right after the C-Class. And for its mid-cycle refresh for 2013, Mercedes has decided to add a diesel engine to what is already a very popular vehicle. And I'm here near Geneva, Switzerland to check it out. As you can imagine, Mercedes didn't want to mess with the GLK's winning formula. Outside, its front and rear fascias have been softened up a bit, toning down the old GLK's hard edge looks. And like any new car these days, LED lighting is now available. Inside, the cute Utes dash gets a cleaner look, with the circular air vents from the SLS Gullwing supercar migrating down the Benz food chain. What Mercedes didn't change was the GLK's cozy interior. It's one of the shortest and narrowest bodies in its class, with cargo room behind the seats remaining relatively small. But beyond these requisite mid-cycle upgrades, the big news for the 2013 GLK lineup is the addition of a class-first diesel engine option in the form of the GLK 250 Bluetech. The new 2.1-liter twin-turbocharged inline four-cylinder diesel makes only 190 horsepower but a very reasonable 369 pound-feet of torque. Better yet, the diesel easily beats the carryover GLK 350 and its gas V6 at the fuel pumps. Whether on the French auto routes or Alpine two lanes on the media drive route, the GLK's driving characteristics remain more luxury than sport-oriented. Like before, the Mercedes best suited to a round-town jaunts to Starbucks, highways, and long arcing two lanes where its comfortable ride and laser responses are better appreciated. And just to remind us that GLK can be driven off-road, Mercedes let us get the car dirty, something that rarely happens back home in Canada. So while you can file most of the changes for the 2013 GLK under minor, the big news is the availability of the diesel engine. My prediction is that'll end up becoming the most popular model very quickly. And the other thing you need to remind yourself as the mud here on the car is proof, you can also take your GLK off-road and not just use it strictly for the run to Starbucks. For the Toronto Star and Wheels.ca, I'm John LeBlanc.